What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? It's Sherika Shay, and I'm back with another freaking house tour. Now, today I'm looking in Florida. I haven't looked in Florida in a very, very, very long time. Um, but y'all, I'm still got this Florida thing in me. Literally, me and my mom was talking the other day. Y'all, you know, I was talking the other day, and like she has the same thing. She well, actually, for me, I kind of want like decent like not a decent size but like i literally want like a four bedroom like the smallest i could do is a four bedroom but i want it in like four or five different states my mom was talking to she was just like you know what yeah i do want a place in california because that's where we're from you know what i'm saying she was like you know what i do want a place in like nevada i'm thinking like texas but she was saying four but she was saying how she wanted only like two three max like three is pushing it she really wants like a one two bedroom but i'm like mama i want a four five in every place <laughs> in every place like and whatever i'm not using i was letting her know whatever we're not using we could easily airbnb or you know all family use it and because locations are literally the same places i'm like mom we could go in together when you're out there boom and then i go out there it just depends like Let's just go ahead and jump into the video because we were we were talking and y'all I love talking about houses. I I could talk about houses all day every day, okay. But here it is a house. It's two million. It's set, a seven bedroom, six bath, four thousand square feet on four acres. Now price is high, okay. But I really liked it, it just for the simple fact they have four acres. And y'all know for me I want animals. Um, only thing though. Is how is Florida like having animals in Florida, you know? Because I'm so used to like hearing that Florida is just like you know, tsunami and flood city, like flood town. And I don't really want my animals to be in there. So this does like a flat house, it does not look like it's a two story, three story, anything like that. Um, which you know, for me, I always say I won't stare the y'all lately. But it's, that's on me. Lately, it's been hard to get up them stairs. No lie. No lie. But it's because your girl been putting on some pounds. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. I gotta keep it real. I'm putting on some pounds. So it's, it's completely my fault. But stairs have been hurting. And I'm like, uh-oh. Do I want to do this? <laughs> do I really want to do this for the next 30, 40 years? Like, come on. So let me find the front door. I have no idea where I am. And, you know, I can't stand. They just dropped me off somewhere. That looks like the back door. Here goes more living space. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Front door. So let's go outside. I love the actual driveway. And look how you drive in. It has a beautiful gate. Beautiful, beautiful, you know, parking area. I absolutely love it. I love how they got a picture of, like, not a picture, but a whole statue of a horse. Because y'all know I want horses. 100% I want horses. And literally the other day, y'all, I was picking up my kids from school and I see somebody just riding their horse on their land. And I'm like, that's me. I want that to be me, y'all. Anyways, we're in this house. Coming in is like a little living room. And then it like they made this their dining room. Let's go back this way. Okay, and this right here is another living room. So... The, the house is just open the house is just completely open like it's just open so you literally have to decorate it any way that you want to any way you see fit that's how you decorate it for me i need to figure out is there a, a room to like the backyard that's most likely what i'm going to move change it to like my play area play space for the kids and, you know, like I always say, if we have parties that's in and out for them to be in that location. But it looks like everything right here is like living space, living space. And then they made right here the dining space. And also for me, we would need a big, uh, big table, y'all. Y'all know our family is big. I love the double oven. But it looks like it has multiple microwaves. One, two microwaves. So it doesn't have the microwave that's like usually inside of the uh, like inside the cabinets but okay here goes the stove 
it, it's a lot of space you know what y'all they do have a microwave here so what's the point of these two microwaves if you just have like nine people living here to where everybody wants to you know what that's a problem in my house too though it's a problem in my house sometimes they be seeing me like you see me take the wrapper off of these noodles and then they just go ahead and pick up something and put it right in the microwave and i'm like now you've seen me now i gotta wait two or three minutes because you you seen me so i understand i understand that one i get it now i like this bathroom and i also like how it's located to go outside love that okay that's not people coming in tracking everything fully through the entire house bring that in the bathroom and out in and out simple simple okay so these halls these halls are really long and it looks like this these houses these houses these rooms are giving space only thing i'm not seeing is my ceiling fan y'all know how i am with my ceiling fan but this room is giving space and i also love the hardwood floors i'm not seeing no carpet in this house so i'm loving that okay i'm absolutely loving it okay let's go to the next room come on sometimes i don't know what it is but it's not it's, it hasn't been clicking like i want it to click so i still don't have the ceiling fan the room is a little smaller but it's still a nice size and this one right here looks like a jack and jill bathroom it's a lot of mirrors for me but it's cute i feel like it's a lot of mirrors and i also don't like the mirrors on the closet at all i feel like that would just get broken our kids are really rough our kids can't keep their regular sliding doors like that one that's how our kids room look like like that one because they can't keep the doors up there let alone glass i feel like whoever this person is right here they broke that glass they broke it and they had to take it down that's what happened that's what that's what would happen if my kids live there okay I will change all that out, 100%. Now, this is the master. It's given. You can walk outside. I love that. Y'all know how I want to be able to walk outside and enjoy a little patio or something for the master. Okay. Put the TV there. It looked like that's where it's supposed to go, but I, I already spoke about how I want, like, a TV to be, like, up in the ceiling <laughs> and pull it down. Like, I don't want a full-blown TV. I really want to have, like, a projector a screen you know what i'm saying just because my sight my eyesight this bathroom okay it's a big closet i was not expecting the closet only thing about the closet is i'm a messy person my closet stay messy and i know my husband hates it but i cannot keep my closet clean i just try i, I can't so so being at a place where i can't close it i mean it will push me it will push me into to um wait a minute there's no Baby, I can't do this. I can't do this. That's like a bidet. A huge shower. But it does not, I repeat, it does not have my tub. It does look like it has room for a tub. To where I probably have to, you know, custom make it. Not custom make the tub, but like custom make the bathroom. And if I really want to change it, I could probably just put um, some some doors up for the closet. And then that's, that'd be fine. It'd be fine. But this is really, this is kind of high on the price, you know, for me. And to, to already sit here and think about like renovations and stuff. This is already like above, above and beyond what I want to pay for anything. And then they have it circling back around. So, Okay. Okay, and then there's this just big giant room. What is this? And I keep clicking on these buttons and I'm not sure why it's just not, it's not working. Hello, come on, there we go. It's a big giant room. Again, what I'll probably do here because it's just so giant is make this one like the game room slash gym slash slash slash, you know what I'm saying? And then um, also have some, maybe get some doors that go outside to the backyard. It didn't seem like many rooms. Didn't it say it was a seven bedroom? I don't think I've seen seven. I, I tell you that one. Oh, unless they're counting rooms out here. Look, like it's a guest house. I absolutely love the space right here. What I would do differently though is where the lights are. I would make um I would put ceiling fans, and then um I'm not too sure if I seen like a bar or anything like that, and I'm not too sure what that is either. 
the, like the garage or something but i would definitely have like um uh oh messing things up now um the screen that pulls down you know to keep the bugs out and stuff like that um i love the guest house only thing is my kids are little right now i can't split my kids up you know in different areas different houses and they're the age that they are right now they're too young for that but the pool is absolutely huge i love how it gives me four acres so i could i definitely see that i can have my animals and stuff like that it's giving gorgeous i like it only thing is this it is separating space so let me see if it's going to show me some of the guest house oh, look at all that space look at all that space look at all that space that is so pretty that is so pretty look how gorgeous that looks i don't see it showing me i love the space that is giving in that that back i could see my animals back there i could see me building um different gates and you stay over here my my horse is over here my piggies over here you know what i'm saying given gorgeous given gorgeous but it does not show me what's in, inside that guest house so i'm not sure exactly what it looked like but i don't like how it's separate i need all my rooms to be together my kids are again are, again they're not old enough to be oh they say in the outhouse like you have your 12 year olds in the outhouse <laughs> like no um but i would rate it an 8 out of 10 i like it um but i don't know i'm still into them stairs like them stair houses they just take me i i kid you not they take me they take me away even though if, lately the stairs have been kicking my butt and i really need to start working on my weight um because stairs have been killing me been killing me but i also know i gotta get up the stairs to get to my room so i'll be up there breathing hard keep going though breathing hard keep going you know what i'm saying but uh yeah that's an eight i like it but it's just not for me it's it's flat it's giving separate rooms separate you know, separate living spaces uh -uh. and i feel like i would have to go in and change some things too oh no baby it's already up there in price that's gonna end this video here catch you in the next one see you later bye